morning guys. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel where you join us here at my favourite place, Universal Studios. Universal. We are all dressed to impress. Look at that bag. It's glows in the dark as well guys, so we'll test that later. Yeah, it is a beautiful bag. I'm in my new ET shirt which was gifted by Lucy. Hey! Look at this. This shirt is sick. It's amazing. Like we'll show you more of it after when you've got your body warm. When it yeah. heats up a bit. Yeah, because a bit chilly this morning, but... It's, Seven degrees. It's going to get to 20 degrees, so... Currently. Now, the original plan for me was, I wanted cold stone for breakfast, however... You I, did? Well, I did. Oh. I didn't anticipate grabbing a Gideon's last night. So, this is now going to be a my new breakfast. Mm, you're going to try it on the vlog? Well, Which one did you get? I got the original now. I've never had the original. I've had the triple chocolate cookie one but I've never had the original one. Uh, I'll try it in a second. I do need the bathroom. Oh, yeah, we'll go Starbucks toilet. Nat's just grabbing a coffee in there now. Yeah. Imagine and, mixing uh, we'll this with a uh, cold stone. Oh, Ooh. actually, yeah, but you need that warmed up, I reckon, for that to be, oh, like, could, amazing. Could you imagine we need, it? Has anyone got a microwave on, on, in City Hall? I know, yeah. Can I borrow it for just two <laughs> seconds, please? Yeah, so what we're doing this morning, we're going to hit in Starbucks. We're going to meet Karen B, who actually we've been watching for a long, long I, time. I know, and like I speak to her all the time, so this is going to be a bit weird. It's like me meeting YouTubers I watch. It's yeah. like when people come and meet us, like we're going to be like the same. Yeah, so let's head on here, let's meet the guys, yeah. and then I'm going to test this Gideon's cookie. So for those of you who don't know, Gideon's is a very, very popular cookie place. I'm sure you all know what Gideon's is. I know I've never tried this half pound original cookie, and I thought, you know what, for the first time, Let's just grab the original, it's the absolute classic. It's so heavy. So what does the original, what is the original? That. Is it just chocolate? Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, oh my god. No. This is my type of cookie. Yours, it's too soft for you, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. They do a hot cookie hour, so that's the only time I think I'll try it again. It's because you get a hot cookie with ice cream. Yeah. But that well, that's too soft to be cold for me. That's unbelievable. Now, it took him 15 years to perfect this cookie. Wow. And it is perfect. Me, personally, it is perfect. I, this is one of the hypes I can get behind it. I completely yeah. agree. It's amazing. So, so good. We're so finally in the park, it's 9 a.m. Here's Karen! I know we've seen Karen on TV, so she's famous! <laughs> no, we've been finally letting the plan was originally to go to Hagrid. It's three hour away. Ain't nobody got time for that. No so problem. we've checked out Forbidden Journey, and that's currently posted at 25. I'm sure it'll go up by the time we get there. Fingers crossed it stays around 25 minutes. So if you are like me and Ben, we have extremely big bags. It's the most common question I get: what's in your bag? There's so much stuff in it. So if you can't fit your bag in a locker, just be aware that they do have a bag swap system and it's very similar to a child swap system. Except we don't have kids, we just have really, really big bags. So if you do have a big bag, don't worry about squeezing it into a locker, don't worry about paying one. Just have one of your groups kind of wait to one side. So yeah, we have an even amount of people, don't we, I think, or a very close number. So half are gonna do the seven, yeah, yeah. Yeah. half are gonna do the first ride, the second half will do the next one, look after the bags. That way we're not damaging our bags, I'm not scratching my pins, and we're not damaging these brand new bottles because Ben almost did that the last time. So bag swap. Yeah. yeah. Now like. Just come off a bit in journey. I think it was about a 25 minute wait, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, I think it said 35 when we got in, but I mean, whether it was when we were just talking yeah. for 35 minutes with the guys in the queue, but it didn't feel like that long anyway. You know what? I always say this, that is definitely one of the most underrated rides. It's so much fun. I, I absolutely love it. Yeah, it is really good actually. Isn't I just it? closed my eyes on the spider bit, obviously, yeah. but yeah. Well, I'll do I this. She, go. she went, oh no! Yeah, I do that so I can still see the floor so I know when the spider bit's ended. Yeah, 
Now, yeah, Hagrid's aren't like Velocicons, they're all up to like 120 minutes, so we're not going to do them just yet because I know later it's in the day they busy. do calm down. So we've just checked for the Hogwarts Express and it's currently posted at a 10 minute wait. So we're thinking... Well, yeah, we, ch we looked at the wait times in the other part because we're in islands now. So we looked at the actual Universal Studios and like Men in Black and stuff were showing like 15, 20 minutes. So yeah. we're thinking just going to the park. This is busy now. And, and also, quieter, so. E.T. is over there. Luce, quickly show them my uh, new shirt. There we go. Eh? Oh, I'm actually oh, obsessed oh. with it. I absolutely love it. Ben. They're letting people in the Hagrid's queue cross and then we'll be able to go in. So yeah, we're going to get the Hogwarts, Hogwarts Express. Express over to King's Cross. We've just arrived in the Universal Park now, and uh, the guys are getting really hungry. So, we're thinking typically, like every single chip, we absolutely <laughs> love the San Francisco Pastry Company. I know we probably do it every chip, but we love it. So, it sells pretty much everything you would want. Do you remember the, the last time we came and I ordered that thing that I didn't like? Because I thought I was ordering something else. Oh yeah, that sandwich. Yeah. You thought you'd order, you pointed to one, but that weren't the one you said. I'd order, you got mixed up, but yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so I think I'm going to order Don't the correct thing. So, last trip, the Caprice sign was in front of the hot turkey. And I said the Caprice, and that's the one I did not like. However, this time, I'm going to go for the hot turkey sandwich, because I know that's amazing. That roast beef looks incredible too. So this is originally what I wanted the first time. Now, they didn't give me soup, but the guy did offer me a tomato soup, and I said no. Mm. But to be honest with you, I kind of regret that now, because it looks really good. Yeah, it looks so good. I'm just going to dip so it he's going to borrow my soup. Yeah. So for this, and the, the cream horn was $18, which I think is pretty mm. good. And you've had the cream horn before, and it was amazing, amazing. right? Um, That's amazing. Yeah? Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted the first time. What's on your sandwich? Uh, peppers, turkey. cheese, turkey. Bacon. Bacon. I mean, the fact that it's got peppers sauce. on it, I'm still eating it, it's pretty amazing. I know, yeah, check you out. You're a guy. Because I'm usually guy. like, Bleh, I don't want that. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So I went for the grilled cheese and it comes with a tomato soup, which Steve's already had some of it. Because it just looks like it's got loads of different cheeses on it. It's got cheese in it, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lots of cheese. It's got some sort of sauce in it as well. Is it good? Mm. I didn't know they did grilled cheeses, me. I didn't, I didn't see it. Is that new? It's not on the menu. It is. Is it? Yeah. I it's it's where the sandwiches are on the menu. It was oh, at the top. It smells unreal. It does smell amazing. It's really, really good actually, to be fair. Even the tomato soup. It's such a good combo. Yeah. You'd never think of doing that, would you? We do that. And in America, they do it. Do you? Yeah. The we soup. All love it. It's amazing. Yeah, cheese Worth it for sure. And I also got a cheese Danish. This is like one of my favourite pastry items to get. And an apple juice. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely, out. lovely. Time for the main event the cream horn. Mm. Is it on my nose? Yeah. Yeah. It's got such a big nose. <laughs> that is unbelievable. I love the cream inside. It's so, so nice. This is probably where... It's weird because it's not got chocolate in it, but it's like one of my favourite desserts in this park or from this bakery. Because normally I get chocolate filled stuff and they're really heavy and stodgy, but this is super, super light and I really, really like it. Mm, I could eat several of these several. and so could my nose because it's clearly all over it. <laughs> Breakfast was beautiful as usual. I have a lipstick on my um, chin. chin. <laughs> I always get that when I'm eating a sandwich, so ignore that, guys. Yeah, it's breakfast attractive. was wonderful and not expensive here, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. However, we just finished and we're going to come and hit Men in Black Alien Attack because oh, the standby oh. queue is 15 minutes. And again, like the last ride, we have to do a bag swap because these bags just won't fit in the locker. So, are you ready to lose? Yeah, I will lose actually. We're gonna get our asses actually, kicked. Yeah, actually, I'm so bad at this game. Let's go. <laughs> I've already lost. I didn't win. Karen won. 
Karen out of one. everyone. Yeah. No, we've just taken some pictures outside the uh, night bus, night which bus. are pretty cool. We'll get them and we'll drop them in. They're cool. We, we tried to do a really cool we tried selfie. We to do a little Viv selfie, didn't we? Yeah. We, we've learned from Viv and it worked out all right. It worked out Shout out pretty to you, well. Viv. Yeah. yeah. Now, we're going to head on in to Diagon Alley now because we've yet to see it and it's one of our favourite places in here. It's unbelievable. Yeah, we like having a little look around. Let's go and see the dragon as well. Let's go and get a cloak. Let's go and get oh. a wand. Oh, and let's wander God. around diagonally. I might wait here. What'd he say? Diagonally. I thought he did. Yeah, they used to put projection screen in. So we've just got into Diagon Alley and Gringotts is a 195 minute queue, which shows to you guys how busy today is. Like, I don't think I've ever waited that long for a Gringotts. Last time we came, it was a walk on. Yeah. I don't really fancy queue with three hours for it anyway, let's just, uh, let's just say that. But it's mega, mega busy. So I just look around some of the shops because I love the Harry Potter merch. So I've never seen these before, but these are really, really nice. I also have the cup as well. That's a really good cup. How much is that? $21. It's not that bad. This blanket here is super soft. Very nice. We have finished at Diagon Alley. We had a nice walk around there. We even went to Nocturne Alley, which I would love to film, but it's very, very dark, so you yeah, can't I see filmed, nothing. Yeah, um, some talking heads, which you'll have seen. I think it was quite good footage, yeah. that. But the rest, like, in the shops and stuff, it's so dark. I know. So. And because the shops are so small, that with 10 or more people, it becomes very hard to walk around, doesn't it? Yeah, and it was really busy in that area. Yeah. Like, we tried to look at Green Dots, and what was it, 170? The uh, late time for it. It started at 195, then oh, it went down yeah. to 175. So, so very busy. ET is even 50 minutes, which is crazy for ET because normally it's like 20 max, I would say, 20. Mm. So it, it's Sad. super busy. It is but a really busy day. I totally forgot about the new Minion Cafe and the new Minion area. We have yet to see that yet. So we're going to head over there. I think Nat might grab some food because I think. And Becky, I think. Maybe. Nat and Becky, yeah, because they yeah. do gluten free stuff. That seems to be one of the new places that's kind of catered for people with. You know, gluten intolerances. Oh, maybe I'll get some banana popcorn. You know what? You've never Because I popcorn. need to try it. You've not had popcorn once this trip. How have you not no, had popcorn? No, I have. I've had it in Epcot, that, oh. um, the Christmas one. I'll let you off. Yeah, um, maybe I'll get that actually because I really wanted to try that. I'll try it. Yeah, let's get some. So we found where I can get the banana popcorn from. Papa Nana. <laughs> Papa Nana. So it's, this is just on the end of the Minion Land and it goes all the way down there, like towards the entrance or exit of the park. So we'll show you guys around that in a sec, but first I'm going to get it. A cup of banana popcorn is 6.69, I think. Okay. Yeah. Better be a big cup. Be about that big, wouldn't it? I don't know, but I don't care. I, I need to try it. Has anybody said it's really good? Is it known for being really good? I've, I've not seen anyone try it, but oh. I love popcorn and I love banana flavoured stuff. Yeah. So surely I like it, right? Oh yeah, surely. Surely. But yeah, I'm very excited. We'll uh, do a little taste test in a sec. She's got it. It was six dollars something before tax. Yeah. Go on, get in. Come on, let's have a banana popcorn. And it's warm as well, which is always a good sign. Oh my god. That's really flavorful. Mmm. Okay, that really works. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's missing. It's a bit of chocolate sauce. Oh. That would work wonderfully. Bit of Nutella on there. Oh, no. bit of Nutella. Banana flavored Nutella. Oh. <laughs> anyway, 
They also do normal popcorn, like butter popcorn, or you can get banana, but I would definitely recommend the banana. I like that. Mm. I really, really like that. I, I love do. the fact that it's warm as well. Like, I love warm popcorn. Mm, like, it was fresh as well, like, just been made as well. Oh, yeah. That's a good snack. I like. <laughs> right next to the banana popcorn stand, there's actually the Minion Cafe. Now, I'm not going to grab any food. However, I do want to go and check it out because we've never been in. I want to see what kind of desserts and food they sell. I know Nat's yeah. in there with uh, Becky. They're getting some gluten-free because they checked online. They said they've got several gluten-free options. So they, I think they've already mentioned they've got a table, haven't they? I think they said they're inside, yeah. yeah. I think it's just a quick service is what my guess is yeah. for this. Let's check it out. Um, yeah, we'll have a little look. Oh, look inside. Wow. Hello. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. And I don't even, I don't even know anything about I mean, movies. I do like this book me, to be fair. Like, it was one of, it, I used to love going watching the films. Yeah. It's very nice in here, isn't it? Very bright. Hey, look at the, um, the, the like, the, um, oh, the pipes of all the bananas yeah. and stuff in. Uh, I want to see what's in the fridges. We need to see a menu. Yeah, shall I go and look for one? Yeah, let's go and have a look. I didn't actually buy this, Karen got these. These are just Minion Tater Tots. Now I have tried one. They taste a little bit like those potato smiley faces. They're a bit dry, I'm not gonna lie. Right. Um, I'm not a great fan of them. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't like potato smiley faces anyway. But they're definitely, they're definitely not giving me tater top vibes. They'd be much better as regular tater tots. I'm gonna eat it though because I'm fat. Minion Cafe wasn't a great hit with everyone. I, I, did, I don't think it helped that the service wasn't great either. Like nobody was happy in there. They weren't very smiley or anything. No, which is bizarre because minions are crazy. And I expected more from it. And I, think. I also think like the decor in there could have been a bit more like crazy. interactive. Like nothing was moving, everything was still like they could have had like animatronics and just more noises and like music yeah. and stuff. Like they could have done a lot better with the atmosphere and stuff. It was just a bit like mm, Yeah, a bit like meh. meh. Yeah. Hey, whoa. Hey, hey. A jinx, double jinx. But we've come out to Freeze Ray Pops now and I've just seen a grew with Nutella. We'll show you what these uh, pops look like. Yeah, because I'm going to buy one. If it's got Nutella on it, They're like I'm ice buy it. pops, but for us, I think that's just ice lollies. Yeah. And then might call them ice right pops. next door is Bake My Day, so we'll check that out as well. Which I think is like a bakery, might have like cakes, oh, yeah. brownies, you know, stuff like that yeah, in yeah. there. So obviously, right up your street. And we'll go and have a little show you around there as well. So her eye's a little bit messed up. I don't have an eye. I did take a little bite already. Look at Cam Cameron's is like perfect. Look at mine. Have you tried it yet? No, so this is the minion it's called. So it's banana and blue raspberry. Go on. Let's see how good it is. It's like banana white chocolate. Oh, that's not what I expected it was in taste of. Is it good? Yeah. That's really flavorful, that, isn't it? It's very banana -y. And I went for. Mm. I went for the group. Oh, the group with Nutella. This was 9.57. After tax, yeah. That's an incredible price for a, I don't even know what it is, like an ice cream pot. Um, where's the Nutella? Is it on the middle bit? That bit? Yeah. You think that's Nutella? No, it'd be inside it, right? Um, Keep going. More? Um, I'm not getting Nutella. You're not? It tastes like chocolate ice cream with dark chocolate around it. But I'm getting no Nutella from it. None of like the hazelnut chocolate. No. It definitely says Nutella on the menu. Definitely does. Would I buy one again? Not a fan. Probably not. No. It's not horrible, by the way. Yeah. No. But it's not what it's I expected. It's just not what it was as, as advertised. No. no. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Oh, yours is way better. Yeah? The flavour and the banana and the raspberry together. That's way better. I would definitely buy one of them. Yeah? I'd get another one of them, yeah, 100%. I won't buy that. Oh, that's a but shame. But I'd 100% have one of them. That is way nicer than this. Oh, Lord. But we didn't have an old. Oh, Lord. He's living his best universal life. It smells funny. 
<laughs> it's that. It smells like, you know when you hold on to a, a copper henny? It stinks. Oh. Smell that. Smells like ice that's been there forever. That stinks, that. <laughs> I don't like this. So next up is Bake My Day. Now Lucy's Little Minion ice cream is really, really good. Mine, I know what it tastes like. It doesn't necessarily taste like it, but it smelt like it. it smelt like blood. Like the iron smell, didn't it? It smelled like medication. Yeah, so I popped... And it wasn't that nice. I popped that coin thing on the front in the bin because I couldn't eat at the same time with it because it... I don't it know where the bad. Nutella was, let's be yeah. honest. It was advertised Nutella and there weren't any in it. No, no, no. But this, however, I would recommend getting this. I would 100% recommend uh -huh. that. That is beautiful. So we're going to head into Bake My Day. And then after this, Rick Rocket Ride is 65 minute wait. So me and Ben are going to hit that and the girls are going to sit in the sun because you don't fancy it, do you? <laughs> Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? One day. Absolutely not. <laughs> so we're just going to chill, mate, for you, because, I mean, yeah? it's nice weather. And we could just, I enjoyed it when we sat down there eating my popcorn. Yeah. So. Which is also great for me and Ben, because these guys can look after the bags. But before we do that, make my day. Which is just here. It, I mean, it's a very pretty store. Yeah, I think it's literally just like a bakery slash sweet shop. Yeah. So let's go in. Straight away. Popcorn. popcorn. Right up Lucy Street, this. Cotton candy. That'll be so nice, that. It might be art, like quite artificial. You know, like the one that I got in Epcot? What do you how, think? how it was a bit like, it wasn't the best. Okay. Maybe it would be like that. That caramel one would be sick, though. Yeah. You can't good. go wrong with that. They do have a pick and mix section. Hey. They have these little bananas. Do you remember these as a kid? And they've got gummy bananas. They have little jazzies. Do you remember jazzies? They're called non parels here. Peach rings down there, they're one of my favourites. And this, the price of these is $17 per pound. So it can get pretty expensive. I yeah. I think though, coming in here, I thought it was going to be like a full on bakery cake shop. But I mean, you less... have a little stand which is just behind me there with all the bakery stuff in. I'm but... going to see what I can get, I'm going to try and film some of it. Yeah, I think there might be little themed stuff in there. Yeah. Maybe have a little look. Aww. Oh, look. Aww. $20. So they have some amazing looking macarons just here. Chocolate pretzel flavour. I love macarons and these look really good as well. I mean, the little bakery section, it does look really nice. These look really, really good. Last time I bought a s'mores in Universal, I actually put it in the bin. So I would like to go back and try again. Rice Krispie Cake. They are so big. Five fifty for one of those. I'd have to know what they taste like because the one I tasted in Disney weren't great. And the brownies look incredible. Five dollars for the size of that as well. It's definitely worth it. I wasn't overly blown away by this new minion section. I can't lie. Like, I feel like it isn't finished or they could do a lot more with it. It looks really good from the outside. Like, if you can see behind us little bits, like, it's, it's yeah. very colourful and beautiful. But inside... I, I don't know, I've not been blown away by it. So we went all. into Bake My Day then, and I... Oh God. So bearing in mind, I've not seen a vlog on it either. I tried to avoid it because I really wanted to be blown away yeah, by I've it. I've not actually watched any vlogs on them because I wanted to actually like yeah. experience it myself. So I don't know what anyone else really thinks about it, but I, I wouldn't say I'm impressed no. really. I wouldn't rush back to it. I thought I was going to walk in, it was going to be cakes everywhere. Yeah, especially in the Bake My Day. They could do so much more with it, but no. it's only a little stand. So with that, mm. not a fan. But what I am a fan of is rip ride rocket so the girl's gonna sit the sun because the weather today is beautiful to it's super super warm and then me and ben are gonna jump on this i think it's saying 65 minute wait which is absolutely perfect i don't mind queuing an hour at all i'm kind of sad because i kind of want to sit in the sun i'll get my tan on and that but when the ride calls hey i want to take a picture with vector oh vector it's vector so rip ride rocket was class that was now, amazing She's lying. She, she's claiming she's been on it. She's lying. No, I've just been sat on the ground in the sun for like you half are. an hour with the so girls. It was posted at a 65 minute wait and it actually took 35 minutes, which was amazing. Like, yep. to be fair, I did say to Ben, since we got the queue, we'd already gotten through halfway the queue and I thought, this has taken us 15 minutes. If it keeps moving at this speed, we're going to be on it in 30 minutes. And you know what was right? It was 35 minutes in total. Yeah, we that's did from, quick actually. Yeah, that's from queuing, riding, getting off, 35 minutes, which is amazing. What song did you have? Oh, speaking of songs, so they only have, per category, so like country, pop, hip-hop, rap, 
They only have one song per category now. Have they changed it? Did it used to be a few? Yeah, no, I know you can do like a secret menu, but obviously I don't know how to do that. I have seen the videos, I have just forgotten. Yeah. But they only have one song Boring. per category, which is, yeah, so in the end I just had Shania Twain. I feel like a woman. <laughs> Well, you love a bit of country though, don't yeah. you? you? So love a bit that, of was, that was a bit of a shame, but the ride itself is amazing. Me and Ben said that. This was you on the front row? Front row, yeah. Ooh. It was amazing. I absolutely loved it. And the fact that it took 35 minutes is incredible. So, anyway, guess where we're going, guys? We're going to go Guess to what ET. ride? Oh, you Oh, sorry. Talking. Guys, guess where we're going? <laughs> ET, you're ET. correct. It's currently posted at a 45, is that correct? Yeah, but we're just hoping it might be a bit less than that like you know because if it ride said it was 60 yeah. and it was 30 then maybe this will be like a 20. little bit less i mean i'm happy waiting like 45 though for your team yeah. i'm not gonna lie and that's because considering the queues today yeah. are ridiculous oh, so 45 busy. is quite sharp yeah and not only that the q and et is actually really really fun oh and god, it smells smell. incredible oh my god it? the smell yeah i'm happy to queue in 45 minutes in that smell yeah i agree absolutely I agree. But again, I think it's less, so let's find out. Let me be right by your side, cause I know that this is right. Don't be shy, just get to know me. We can take this somewhere else, you and me can find ourselves. Stop pretending we are lonely. I can't call your love, cause I know that this is love. Can't pretend that you don't feel it. People think that you missed, I know you can't resist. Scented candle. Does it smell like it? No, it doesn't. Um, it does, but I think the one from American Hut smells better. So if I hadn't bought that Walt picture, I'd have bought this because this would look amazing in our ET room. What have you got? Look at these. You could put it on a belt. I could put this on my, my electric look, bike. And then you could just be walking around, and he's like there. Buy it. Good. Imagine me walking around. Forget your like, fanny pack. Yeah, forget that. You don't need a bag. I know, oh yeah. God. Imagine that as an actual bag. Universal, take notes. <laughs> Just make that into a bag and I'd buy it. Now, I'm not seeing much new ET merch, but this is very, very nice. I'm pretty sure I would have shown it at some point, but I do like that and I also like this. I don't like the fact that it's long sleeve, but oh, that would look nice in a Universal room, wouldn't it? Yeah, it actually would. Wouldn't it? Yeah, we do have a lot of ET stuff. We keep buying ET stuff, even though it's a Universal room. We need to get more of like, Jaws, Back to the Future. Agreed. Jurassic Park. However know? loose, look. Oh, for God's sake. Do we have an ET one? No, we need it. Should we buy it? How much is it? So this is, oh, that's <gasps> cheap. Right, it's we're buying it. $15. Let's buy it for the garage, because we haven't sure? got one. Yeah, 100%. These two? No, nah, that one. You it's got the moon, one? yeah. Already, already in the bag. We don't even have to think about it. Can I just point out, she's just literally said, we need to stop buying ET merch. No, I didn't. <laughs> 
Mike like absolutely loves his ET pins as well. Look at this one. He's a son as you get three. How much do these cost? These are 15 dollars, which I kind of expect because you get three of them. So I think that's pretty worth it. That's a really nice one. That's eight dollars. Here she is. I'm so happy with that purchase. Yeah. We've actually not got an ET one for the garage, and we were looking for one, weren't we? We was because we even the Christmas markets we were looking for one. Thirteen quid or thirteen dollars. That's thirteen cheap. eighty something. It came to with tax bargain. I think for that. Quite be well more money than that. Hey. So it turns out ET was a fifteen minute wait, not a thirty five. Amazing. Minute wait, which is amazing. Are we. He didn't say our names. What? He didn't say our names. ET. I oh, know. He didn't say He called us like Roger or something. Yeah, he said um, like some like Gomez or something. Because I actually walked through, I said to Luz, she definitely did not type her names in. No, because, she was like, done, Yeah, it was like done. bink done, bink done. And I was like, nah, she's having me on her. She's not right. She didn't write Walt down. No, because, I reckon it's um, a random name generator. She just presses a button and it I just gives so. a name. I think so. She weren't writing names. Because I said Walt and Ben said Disney. And I said Alicia because if you remember from the last vlog, he called me Alicia instead of Lucy, so yeah, and my new name's Alicia, but he called me Roger. Yeah, and I said she didn't do that. And you know what? We were correct because he called me Gomez. Gomez and Roger. And Roger. God, it was amazing. The fact that we were 15 minutes, which to be fair, we kind of figured it weren't going to be Yeah, 35. when we walked in, I was like, no chance. No chance. No, absolute no chance. No. So, so we're going to try Jimmy Fallon now. It's showing 45, I think. So we're hoping it's Mike VT one and it's just going to be like 15 or 20. Now, this is Hopefully. more for Ben because in the last trip in April, Ben got really ill and he didn't he manage didn't to ride it. Jimmy Fallon. So this is more for his sake. And plus Nat can go on this one as well. So yeah. that's all good. Yeah, it's a decent ride. It's all right, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah, quite like. a nice little ride. Yeah. Let's just pray for a 20 minute wait. Jimmy Fallon was a really nice ride. How long would you say that was? 30. I'd say about, I was going to say 20, 25. Yeah. It wasn't as long as it was posted at. It's just a fun ride. Like, not everybody loves it, but it's just super fun. Isn't it's, it's an easy ride, ride to do, isn't it? Yeah. And like I said, Ben never did it, and it's not it's not what he, uh, he expected. But it's just a cute little fun ride. I yeah. really enjoy it. I do it like doing it every trip, to be fair. I do. Now, the plan, guys, is what we're going to do is we're going to head out of the Universal Studios Park. We're going to head to City Walk because we're all getting really hungry. It's currently... 25 past 5. So we're thinking some of us might do moles. That's where the gluten-free options are for Nat. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is we're probably going to go to Panda Express. We're going to try it anyway. Obviously, yeah. the queue's like long and long. Like, we probably might not, but we'll go and spec it out. Yeah. Now, I've never done Panda Express and I've always wanted to. Have you ever had it in your life? Never. Ooh, never. Okay. But I also love moles, so I might get both. I might get Nat to get me a chicken and cheese quesadilla. All right, cheeky. And, and I might get Panda Express as well. Okay, both then, mate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 I think so. So Brilliant. we'll show you what we get anyway. <laughs> Absolute idol. So, if I got these as a big, huge Dwayne Johnson fan, is it too much? If you're somebody, <laughs> how much are they? $22. Yeah, put it back. Straight back. I'm gonna say it. I think it's quiet. It, like it looks quiet. We just walked past Voodoo then, and there's no queue at Voodoo Donuts. So that's usually a good sign. If Voodoo's is busy, everywhere else is busy. 
God, I hope so, because I really want both. But I think I might get Nat to order me some chicken and cheese quesadillas, and I might get some sort of orange chicken and rice or whatever they have. I might even get to Panda Express and not like anything. I hope it's dead. <laughs> it's quiet. I'm excited. I'm getting both, by the way. Hello from Panda Express. Hi, Hi. <laughs> right, so I got teriyaki chicken, honey chicken, and I'm not sure about it. I think it might be sweet chili. And I got normal white rice. For this was 11.40. That's insane. I know isn't they're it? they're absolutely massive boxes as well. No, I was gonna get the chicken and cheese case it is as well, but I thought I'll eat this first. Oh yeah, you did say you were getting a moles as yeah. well. <laughs> so I'll eat this first, but just because the pure size of it, I didn't know how big it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. I'll eat this first instead of me wasting another eleven quid on something I'm not gonna eat. I just won't buy it if I'm full because obviously I need to save room for cold stone. But true. Duh. I've never had this before. Let's give it a try. This so is... just for reference, you choose a side so you can either have rice noodles or you can do half and half which i've actually done and then you choose up to three proteins or three mm. meats whatever wow and did you have all three you had three different meats didn't you oh yeah that honey chicken is beautiful which i, um, I think it's teriyaki chicken it is. <laughs> mm. i can't believe how cheap it was and it was dead oh yeah we didn't say Amazing. there's literally no queue and there usually is, so I don't know where everyone is. Mm. I love it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So I went for half and half. So I got noodles and egg fried rice, and then I went for orange chicken and the sesame chicken, so I only got the two meat. And I got a Minute made lemonade. Amazing. I've had the Panda Express before, and I, I love it, so I can't wait for this. So Not nice. had it for so long, though. I think the last time we had it might have been in San Francisco. So it would have been years ago. Yeah. Buzzing! Amazing. And we sat outside, by the way, because... The it's actually an amazing temperature right now. I've got my hoodie off, guys. Like, it's it's beautiful. The light in the temperature is I know, perfect. and look at, like, look at it all. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Such a nice view, isn't it? Oh, I love it. I love city walk at night. I don't know what it's called, it's Reese's Pieces. I know that it's is. It's called, let me have a look in the window. Peanut Butter Cup Perfection. Peanut Butter Cup Perfection, I went That's the actual name. This was $8.30. What I'll do is, I'll drop a comparison, UK versus US <laughs> Cold Stone. Because there is such a difference. Look at the size of this for a large for $8.30. Is it heavy? Yes. Oh. It feels heavier that than is ben heavy. Jerry's. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it really is. Yep, and I'll show you what I got for ten pound in <laughs> London. And yes, you can laugh at it because it's laughable. Yep, I promise you, I didn't eat any of it. That's true. That's to how size. it came. This is how so, you're supposed to do. Do we know what's in this? Right, so it's chocolate ice cream, peanut butter, Reese's peanut butter cup, and fudge. I don't think you put any fudge in though. Is she not? I don't think so. Oh. That's amazing. $8.30 for that. The Guys, I actually got one as well, and I'll show you what I got now. I don't normally get one. This is my first ever one. I went for a create your own. I went for a regular, which is massive for me, to be fair. I went for salted caramel ice cream, and then you pick like mixins. So I, mi I picked peanut butter, M&Ms, and 
chocolate chips. I'm very excited for this. My very first ever cold. Well, USA cold stone. I've had a UK one. Yeah. Yay. So we're done at Panda, amazing, and we've just done at Cold Stone, which is the all-time best ice cream parlor. You know what? In Florida. I really enjoyed it. Amazing. Yeah, it was really good. I had about two spoonfuls left, but I just couldn't. Got a full, didn't you? Yeah, the, but I did really well for regular. Yeah, you did. Like, you I did. think I did really well. Like, I'm very proud of myself for I that. I agree. And it's definitely better than the frozen yogurt place that I had last time. Yeah. But so guys. I would definitely recommend Cold Stone. We saw a rocket launch. This is my second time I've seen one this trip. Now, bearing in mind, we've always said we really want to see a rocket launch, and Lucy's just seen two, <laughs> and I've just seen one for the very first time. Lucy literally went, Guys, that's the rocket launch. Yeah, so on we were sat like outside um, Panda, like on the, um, like, on the balcony, top. and there was just this, I just looked up and saw a flame in the sky, but I went, Guys, that's a rocket, because I knew from the other day. That's exactly what I saw the other day and it was a rocket and it looks exactly the same, just like a big flame going up in the sky. And I was like, oh my God. We've only been here eight, is it eight days now? Eight days now, yeah. And I've seen two. That's insane. And I'm kind of annoyed we didn't go to Kennedy Space Center or because we've got the car today. So imagine yeah. we, we could have just like gone and just like sat in the car near her or something like found somewhere. Like I'm annoyed I didn't check, but. I, I got the camera out so fast. <laughs> I, I was doing everything, I was trying to get it in focus and everything just so we could capture it and we did actually capture it and it was actually pretty decent footage. And we Amazing. saw it obviously go up and it was going on for quite a while. So I reckon when I last saw the other one in Magic Kingdom, if I'd have stayed longer looking at it, I might have seen more because I yeah. only saw it a bit in the sky and I thought it would have done then. Um, and then we saw some things come back down which we think is like you have a bit of the rocket that comes and lands yeah. back down. And we saw that because I think Nat Googan it said eight minutes after launch it'll come back down. It so was amazing. Like it, it was amazing, wasn't it? It was sick. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is after seeing all that, after, after some amazing food, we're going to head back into Islands of Adventure because tonight we are riding Hagrid's. That's a fact. We are riding no matter and what. And you want to do Velocicoaster, right? I want to do Velocicoaster. We're going to jump on Jurassic Park. It's dark. It's not warm, but it's a 10 minute wait. It was virtually going to be a walk on, so we're going to hit, probably hit that first, I would say. Yeah, oh, we could see what Spider Man is and yep. kind of go around that way. Yeah, perfect. Um, so I think Spider Man and then it would be Jurassic Park yeah. and then like Lost Coast and that so we could kind of go around that way maybe Plan. get the passes out the time is oh yeah and let's get my ticket out and let's head on in first up Doctor Doom's Fear Force it's a 10 minute wait which tells me it's going to be a walk on well that woke me up that was actually a 15 minute wait from it's original 10 minute posting time and as we came out it shot up to 35 I think it was so I think we got it at the right time but short but sweet great ride so we've just come to the Jurassic Park River Adventure and it's a walk on. So me and Ben have decided at 20 to 7 and it's freezing to hit the water ride. But we're going to sit at the back. So we shouldn't get that wet. Lucy. Well, can you ask to sit at the back? I'm going to ask to sit. Because two people have just come down and they were sat at the front and they are drenched. Listen, I'm not going to ask them. I'm going to tell them I'm sitting at the back because I don't want to get wet. If it was during the day, like before when we were sat on the other park yeah. and it was red hot, I would have come on. But... I don't feel like getting wet and then walk it. I'll be cold all night. Right, I tell you what, I'll do it for That's you. That's my excuse. And I'll let you know where we get in a set, yeah? Oh yeah, we'll show, we'll show you when you come off. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Karen to the rescue, she brought a poncho. And she's not going on, so I'm guess who's go robbed it instead? Hiya. I'm going to request the front now, I'm going to be like here. <laughs> Are you ready, Ben? He's going to see me with his poncho on and be like... I know, he's going to be well jealous of this. I've just realised as well, I've never been on the River Adventure at night before. It was beautiful. I said this to Ben, I was like, whoa, when those gates open and everything is lit up. Yeah, like I don't, at least I don't think I have. I don't remember being on it at night time. What a beautiful ride that is. What a beautiful ride. But it was great. That poncho, I've never had a poncho on in my entire life. That's the first time I've had a poncho on. It was great. I didn't get wet. Ben got drenched. Karen saved the day. To be honest with you, I was going to go on it without a poncho, but when she offered it me, I was like, go on then, why not? The plan now is we're going to head over to Velocicoaster. We're going to sculpt the area, right? Because it's still saying 135 minute queue. And neither of us believe that because the past rides we've been on, they've all set a specific number and they've been half that. So we're just going to sculpt it out. We may even jump on single rider because as long as we all get on it, 
it doesn't matter who we're sat next to, we just want to ride it. So we'll let you know we get on. I am riding it tonight. We are riding it tonight. And we're definitely riding Hagrid's because that is the best ride. So let's scope it out. Yeah. We'll scope the area right and just see what happens. But I don't believe it's 135 minutes. Not at this time of night anyway. Well, at least it better not be. We'll see. So looking at the queue, I think it's a 35 minute wait because they're not even using the back side of it. I think it's 35, so me, Ben and Karen are going to hit this. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, then. <laughs> Let's go. A few moments later. So, change of plan. That is a sneaky cue because from face view, it doesn't look that busy. Now, we actually went in and they've not actually filled in all the original spaces they would around the queue, but it goes all the way down the waterfront and we kept walking around and all of us were looking at each other to say like, oh my God, where is the end of this queue? And in the end, we just turned back around like, I don't think it's 135 minutes, more 85 minutes, I reckon. So we decided, you know what, we'll come out because we told Lucy and Nat that it was a 30 minute and we didn't want those guys to wait too long for us. So it is what it is. We will get on it, whether it be tonight or whether it be another time, but we are definitely going to get the queue for Hagrid's. So until then, we're going to look at some Jurassic merch because I feel like it's been a long time since we looked at some merch. So we're heading to the Discovery Center and probably actually the other um, the other store outside the River Adventure because that store looked really, really cool. So let's go look at some merch. I'm repping me by from last trip. Yeah. So straight away, we've got steels, absolute steels here. Spirit I really like Jersey. This. It's for the 30th anniversary, so it matches my bag, doesn't it? I love that. Price is... Oh, it says it's in the sale. 56. Yeah, it is 56, down from 80. It's not bad. To be fair, I thought it'd be a better sale. Yeah. I do quite like that. I love this. I like the colour. Do you, I remember seeing this for the first time, I said I'd buy that. But I'm not spending cap at the it. moment. Mm, they also have a top. So nice. It only has something little on the back. $28, I think. I love it. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, 28 down from 40. That's good. And you also have, obviously, this. Which is really nice. I don't think that's the 30th, though, is it? Well, I don't know if it's in the 30th anniversary. Yeah. bit here. I don't know. And it's not in the sale, is it? So maybe it's not part of it. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, it matches our ET one. But I do have a new Jurassic Park we do, one. Yeah, we do already have a Jurassic Park one, so otherwise we would probably be getting this. Um, well, it's cut off, but I think it says 16. But that's not a sale price, right? No, I don't think that's in the sale. I think this below is in the sale. Can you hold it up to light like that? Wow. That's so nice. Yeah, we've seen some wearing this, haven't we, around the park? I just love how old school it is. It's good quality, that, isn't it? So nice. Price of this is cut off. Doesn't say, does it? Well, full price is 110. Wow. It doesn't show a sale price. But it is definitely on sale, so. Another one in the sale? I like it. I, I wish it was grey. I like a different colour than bright yellow. Yeah, because yellow's not my colour. This is $21 down from 30. That's good. That's really good. Guessing nothing on the back because it's all the parties at the front on this one. I think out of the tees, this one is my favourite and I also love the spirit jersey. Look at this. Now I'd Ooh. never wear it, but it's beautiful. Oh, it's back. a cardigan. Ah. Oh. How cool is that? This I do cool. like the cardigans, to be fair. This is $80. Nice, yeah. I really like this too. This is $27. Now, see, this is something I definitely wear, and it feels like good quality as well. Yeah, I do really like that. I'm oh, guessing nothing on the back, right? Nothing on the back? No, nah, nothing on the back. Party in the front. Mm-hmm. No, that's really nice. How much? 27 Okay. Yeah, not bad. That's actually not bad for you a Universal what? tea, is it? Universal do some really good prices on certain things. Don't get wrong, some things are silly, but things like that, $27. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Oh, that's me. That's a really handsome dinosaur. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I like a monkey. <laughs> oh my Look at God. that nose. Hey. Hey, well, bless you. <laughs> oh, look oh, at you. You literally look like twins. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? 
<laughs> are we on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So it we finally good. got on Hagrid's. We did say Woo! we were going to do one of the big ones, we did. didn't we? And I'm yeah. so glad you decided to do Hagrid's and not Lost Cause. Yeah. So for yeah, me, anyway. Because then you could go on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what was it posted at? 135? It was 100 when we walked in. Right. Yeah. And we did it in 55. That's mm -hmm. on the ride, off the ride in 55. Yeah, which, did it all in 55 minutes, which, which is yeah. really good. We kind yeah. of like anticipated that, didn't we? We, yeah. we expected that to happen. But yeah. Amazing ride. Uh, hands down, my all time favourite ride. Probably. Oh, it's so good. In Florida, because I haven't ridden every single ride yet. So. No, that's true. Of but. everything I've ridden, my favourite ride. It's just so fun. I'm yeah. going to agree with that. I do love Flight of Passage, but you can't compare because this is more of a thrill. Flight of Passage yeah. is just nice and like amazing Aesthetic and the smells. Reason. Yeah. <laughs> and Lucy did the bike for the yeah. first. Time. And I did enjoy it. Yeah. I would do it again. It was just very intense. Because <laughs> we we me and Karen were the back row. She yeah. was side car, I was back, and yeah. you was that like, on another cart behind, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You were on the next because bike one to go. Me and Ben wanted the bikes, and I was yeah. like, I'll just go with a single rider, me. I didn't yeah, care. Yeah, so you and Ben had single riders yeah. next to you, didn't you? But it's intense on the back row. Oh, it's amazing. But it, yeah, it's just so fast. I know. It's so I know. But it was really good. Yeah. But I mean, we came out, it's now raining. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's raining a bit. So we stood under this little tiny shelter here, <laughs> trying to not get the camera wet. But uh, we are going to head out the park now. We were going to look in a few stores, but we're up super early tomorrow. So I think we're just going to head straight yeah, back. Yeah, I think it might be best off yeah. if we... Because we've got another day at Universal coming yeah. up in the trip, so we can do more shopping then. And we managed to keep Karen out for a whole day. Look for those she's who, still here. Yeah, for those of you who know, we come in the morning and we don't leave till the very end. <laughs> I take naps. Yes. But I take a midday nap. And we've kept her out. All she's day. Here. Yeah. She's knackered. The next knackered. two days she's written off. I'm gonna face plant my bed when I get home now. <laughs> so we're gonna head on out the park. We're just waiting for Ben and Nat now. Uh, I'm gonna make us yeah, our way to the city. Walk. Heavier, I know it's I know. So we need to get out of here. <laughs> and just like that, another crazy, crazy day. Mm -hmm. um, we've had to leave City Walk pretty early because we're up really early. Now don't go around, the park is closed now, but typically yeah. we would hang around and go go shopping. But, or just like sit around City Walk, probably yeah. get a Cinnabon, you know. But we are up super early tomorrow, so we're just going to head straight back. But We've what an amazing sensible. day. We've been sensible. Yeah. <laughs> We've been sensible. Next Universal Day, we'll stay out. Yeah, it's been yeah. amazing. We've had an amazing day with um, Rebecca and Josh and with Karen. Oh my it's, God, I've absolutely loved being with them guys yeah. today. Amazing day. Um, and we got on Hagridge, which is absolutely fantastic. Highlight. So. We are going to end this vlog here in the parking lot for the first time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much. Please do like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm. Have a wonderful evening and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye guys. It's on! <laughs>